Article has applied to file fresh evidence against Tinibu at the Supreme Court as he has insisted that Tinibu committed forgery and perjury. He has determined to remove President Bola Tinibu from office. Atiku Abubakar has filed for a leave of the Supreme Court to file what he time as fresh evidence. He files this petition through his legal law team led by Chief Chris Uche, senior advocate of Nigeria. And he said this evidence he is seeking to tender before the appeal court will establish his allegation that President Tinibu of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, submitted forged documents to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in aid of his qualification to participate in the presidential election that he did on February 25th. The former vice president maintained that President Tinibu, by the action, committed a twin offense of forgery and perjury and thereby deserved to be sacked from office by the Supreme Court. Specifically, Atiku sought the leave of the court to tender Tinibu's academic record, which he said were handed over to him by the Chicago State University, CSU, on October 2nd, 2023. And according to the motion, the 32 pages document were released by the Chicago State University on the order of George Nancy Mandonando of the District High Court Eastern Division of United States of America. Atiku predicted his motion for leave to file fresh evidence against Tinibu on order 2 of Rule 12 of the Supreme Court Rules 1985, Session 137 of 1999 Constitution, as amended as well as the inherent judicial of the appeal court as encapsulated in Section 6 of 6 of the 1999 Constitution. Though the application was dated October 5th. However, Articles Legal Law team perfected the filing process on Friday night. The PDP flag bearer basically pleaded with the court for an order granting him to leave to produce and for the court to receive fresh and additional evidence by the way of the deposition on oath from the Chicago State University for use in the appeal to wait to wait the certified discovering disposition made by Caleb Westbach on behalf of Chicago State University on October 3, 2023, declaiming. Okay. Many people will be asking questions. Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, do you feel or do you believe that the Supreme Court will really give you the justice? Yes, the Supreme Court will give the justice if they desire, if they wish, if they really want to. They will give the justice. They will not they will not transact the truth. They will not make us to keep believing that truth is transactional in Nigeria. In Nigerian constitution, it states clearly that one can become a president, governor, or any post in the office with just primary school certificate. But if you should forge any certificate and submit to INEC before election, that the person will be disqualified. And it has stated clearly that Mr. Bola Ahmed Tinibu forged every certificate he has so far submitted to INEC. The United States Court confirmed it that the certificate Bola Ahmed Tinibu submitted to INEC is not from them. His lawyers came out to twist it that certificates can be redesigned. That is in the window you can redesign your certificate to your test. In the certificate that the Chicago State University swear under oath that the certificate that I uh, that Bola Ahmed Nibu submitted to INEC is not from them. And yet these people are still arguing.
They are now making us to believe that, example, you bought a car in Lagos and you traveled to Abuja. Unfortunately to you, you lost your car paper in Abuja and you need to go back to Lagos, knowing fully well that the police will disturb you on the way. So now, for you to get that car paper, instead of calling your vendor in Lagos, asking the person to prepare another paper for you and then you find the means the person will use and send the car paper for you the copy of the car documents to you no you went to another place to fabricate a dubious car paper since the car belongs to you you are the owner of the car and then you enter road police stop you and then find out that this car paper document you are carrying looks fake and you will then query or caution police for interrogating you or telling you that your car paper is dubious or fake because you know you bought a car where is that being done for christ's sake so this is exactly what bola ahmed Nibu and his team is trying to tell nigerians that his school where his school also states that he's a female and they said it's a technical error from the chicago state university a certificate that Chicago State University published had adequately in it, and nobody knows Bola Ahmed Tinibu with adequately in his name. At this moment, Bola Ahmed Tinibu team, legal law team, or team, or his criminal teams, them have gone to Wikipedia to edit his name. They now add Bola AA Tinibu, which means that they have, that they have now added adequately in the body light they are trying to criminalize the country so who does that in a in a country where the law work at this moment paula ametinibu would have just stepped down peacefully because indeed he has really become a disgrace and embarrassment to our country nigeria this is not about legalism. it is about building a society based on morality equity justice and even law if we are now if we were now faced with a situation where in our courts the law does not matter anymore you have a law one in the senate even you have an apabio and then you are asking me if i have confidence in the capacity of that judiciary to do justice i am telling you straight up no if anybody does not like that it is up to them the question the point i'm raising is when you have this much imputation of criminality whether it is proven or not is another ball game entirely it is not even seemly already all over the world our reputations are in tatters simply because of the person who sits in the highest office in our land and